Right, good day grade 11s and I know grade 12s are going to be joining me as well. Um, in this video, this is going to be a series on HTML taking you through the basics. Now, I know for some grade 12s, they did not do HTML last year, um, so they'll be joining us here. So I'm going to be using Notepad and you can see the way I'm opening everything. Um, it's just got, I've got Notepad on the one side, I've got my browser on the other side and my magnifier on top so you can see everything as we go along. So in this video, I'm just going to be looking at the basics around HTML, um, getting the basic coding right, and then just maybe adding a title um, and one or two other items. Okay, so let's get into this. Remember now for the grade 12s, you're going to be, for those who didn't do this last year, you are going to be starting from scratch with us here. Um, and then in the grade 12 curriculum, or for the grade 12 curriculum, the only thing we're really going to be adding is doing tables. So you'll see on the cha on the um, CAT channel, CAT with Mr. Hambury, um, I'll have all the HTML videos in the grade 11 folder, all right, or in the grade 11 playlist. And then for the grade 12s, it's just going to be the things that we need to cover um, in terms of the curriculum that will be in the grade 12 playlist. Okay, so without too much talking, let's jump in. So you'll see, um, I'm going to be using Notepad, and I'm going to be using Notepad++ in a different video, just so that whichever one you are using, um, it's going to be easy for you to, to follow along. So here you can see, I've got Notepad open, blank Notepad, untitled, not even saved yet. I've got a new browser open, and I'm just keeping things there. Okay, so um, first things first, when we are going to be dealing with... Um, notepad we are going to be typing in what we call coding and, and uh, specifically HTML which is hypertext markup language and this one we're going to be using to create basic websites so I'm going to start with my very first tag which is me basically just opening up the tag in notepad and I'm saying that I am I'm basically saying that I'm going to now be using the HTML language to create something Okay, now 90% or 95% of the tags that you open must be closed as well. Um, there are certain exceptions, certain tags that are slightly different, but we'll go through that as we move along. So I'm just going to go down to spaces and I'm going to use my arrow, but then I put in a forward slash. And what that forward slash is going to do is tell Notepad that, listen, this is where the tag opens. And the forward slash is going to indicate where the tag closes. So everything in between these two areas, that's everything within my HTML coding. If I put anything outside this, um, it should not display in the website. So um, let's continue with that. So now I've got my basic HTML um, coding just saying, listen, I've opened my coding. I've closed my coding. Let's see if it, do, if it does anything. Sorry. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to go file. I'm going to go save as. Wait for my box to open. And then I'm going to say I want to save it to the desktop. Remember, this can be anywhere for you. Um, and I'm going to use test. And then we need to put in that extension which says .html. People, if you don't get this right, it is not going to display. Leave it as your text document over there. And we click save. Right, so now I'm going to close this browser window and there is my um, website. You'll see when I open it, the title changes to test.html and there's nothing inside because I haven't done anything yet. Okay, I haven't saved anything there. Right, so let's continue with the basic structure. In HTML, you, you get two sections, one being your head and the other one being your body. Now, you'll see as I type out this code, I'm going to open a tag for head. And I'm going to go down a few spaces and I'm going to tab over and close the tag for head. Now, already, if you look at this, you can see I've moved my tag over slightly. And this is just to keep or try to keep my tags as organized and neat as possible. Please bear in mind, you are not going to be asked to create a website from scratch. Um, you will rather be given a website to which you need to add certain things. But getting to know it from the beginning is obviously the best way to go. 
Then inside of the head tag, because this is now the head section of uh, my website. I'm actually going to go down here and then I'm going to open up a body section. Let me just go over again. I can always move this down as I go along. But basically what I want to show you is I've got my HTML tags. And inside my HTML tags, I have a head section, which has an open and close tag. And a body section, which has an open and close tag. Right. So now I can just go file. I can go save because I'm just saving the changes. And the main reason I have this open here on the side is so that I can then refresh um, the, the file that the changes were made to. And you can see it's still test HTML, still nothing here. Why? Because I've just put the structure in place. Okay. This is just the structure that we put in. And then the final piece on the structure that I'm going to pop in is inside of the head. I'm going to open title tags. So I'm going to go down. And I'm going to close my title tag. So now inside the head, I have a title tag. All right? You don't have to do it this way. You can um, put them next to one another. But the main thing to understand is that anything inside of this coding, so anything that I type out from here until the coding closes, will display in my title. Well, let's go have a look. File, save. I refresh my site. Aha, look at that. There's the title and there it is over there. So let's say I want to take that out. And I want to say test website. You can see even if I move that coding up and I have it like that, it's still going to do exactly the same thing. All right? You'll see I refresh it. It changes to test website. So I've changed my title. Where's the title located? Inside of the head section. So it doesn't matter whether the um, tags on, you know, on, on either side of the text. The main thing is that whatever is inside this section, whatever is inside the two tags, that is what is going to display as your title. Okay. So last thing for this particular video, let's just type anything into our body section. And let's go file, save. Now we're going to go back, refresh the site. And there you can see is our first batch of text that is reflected. So folks, this is how we create the structure. Remember, we've we opened an HTML tag. We've closed it further down. We've opened our head, closed the head. Inside the head, we've got our title. We've closed it. We've created a title. And then we've got our body section and anything inside our body section is going to display here inside of this body. All right. And that's part one of just creating the structure for HTML.